Hello, Grandma DC here. And I got off work this morning. It's Thursday the 18th, I think, 19th, 18th of October, 2018. Okay. And I had a thing in the mail that said that I had a Christmas gift of a sock that was delivered to uh, my post office box. I thought, I never go see my post office box very often because they're never open. And I get there, and it's yellow slip, and it says you got a package. So, <laughs> I go, and I'm thinking, what have I ordered? And I'm so senile now that I forget. So going to the post office is like Christmas for me every time I order something. Because I totally don't remember what I got. And I get this package, and it says, Grandma DC, and it's got my return address also. Doesn't say who it's from. And I... I'm dying of curiosity. But Mom wanted to go out running around with Pam, and we went and looked at Class C motorhomes for Pam, not for me. Not, not until I win the uh, $970 million in the Mega Ball. It, by the time it cashes out, it'll be worth a b -b -b billion Can you believe that? My lifelong dream has always been to win the biggest Powerball or Mega Ball. But... Uh, <laughs> That don't happen to people like me. So, I still have my tickets. Yes, I do. I, I have two of them. I'm not upping my odds any. But I'm going to open this package. I was going to open it before because I'm dying of curiosity, but I thought, no, I never uh, don't open a package. or I, I always open packages to Grandma DC on, on camera because uh, I don't get very many, and I like to do that. I'm not like... Uh, as a graveyard girl that gets thousands of packages a day. Wow, you know. I guess maybe hundreds. But uh, I'm careful because I don't know what's in this one. i got a pair of scissors here. And it's so perfectly wrapped. Whoever does this probably works for the post office, I think. Because it's very nicely wrapped in an Amazon Prime box. Yes, I have Amazon Prime boxes that come to my house also. Um see what we got here. I'm dying of curiosity. Drum roll. <laughs> well, we got the packing stuff, which I love. Pop! Well, desperately disappointing. Okay. Oh, and a letter and... Oh my gosh, guys! It is a new... 4K action camera. I guess you heard me when I said my camera's quitting working. It says recording right now, but I don't know if it's really recording. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, honey, whoever. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I gotta read this letter. It's a long one and it's typed. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, you are such a sweetheart. Oh, I am definitely going to continue on my vlogging journey now that I've got this. Here in Texas, we have a saying, put on your big girl panties and step up and deal with it. That is true. You know, we have that here too. And sometimes I say, pull down your big pet girl panties and lube up, you know. But uh, just the opposite. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm going to cut Grandma's channel now. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yes, I agree. I agree with that. Yes. Well, I'm going to read the rest of this. And yes, I agree with that also about the son and like thing. Got it. Yeah, never pay me a penny for the, for the van I gave him. But, oh, honey, thank you so much. And, oh, 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 thank you, guys. Wow, I can't get over you all. I cannot wait to try this out. We're going to do that tomorrow. I tell you what, after we went looking at RVs for Pam, um, she decided not to buy one. <laughs> but it was fun looking. I tell you what, we went into this one. It was a um, it was a fifth wheel. I'd never have a fifth wheel because I don't think I'd ever learn how to pull one of those monster things. But I swear, President Trump could have lived in this thing. It was unbelievable and it had a kitchen at the very top instead of a bedroom and this living room with a fireplace oh my heavens and a washer and dryer in the bedroom mother and i were just like we were walking around like a couple of real hicks you know our mouths open looking at it <laughs> i liked the one that was a um, car hauler that had a 
like a garage in the back. Again, the house was like to die for. But house. Yeah, I guess you could call them a house. Some people call them RVs. I call this a house because they were like a house. Well, guy, <laughs> oh, I tell you, I'm... I am so exhausted. I've had no sleep since yesterday. Got off work and just, we went straight out and, and went looking for Pam. And then in the end, I think she's decided that she wants to take the money that she got from her selling her other RV and just build a cabin out back of her house that people could come to her house and stay in and stuff and family and things. And I said, that's probably a good idea because you could always like rent an RV if you want to go anywhere. And she's got the money to do that. So... <laughs> She's like, yeah, that's true. I said, because how often are you actually going to use it? The rest of the time it's just going to sit in the yard, you know? So uh, I think that was the final decision. And I dropped, well, they dropped themselves off and I drove home. And I got home and my guys were very happy to see me because they hadn't seen me since yesterday. And we got everybody fed and watered. And, uh, and Scud and Betsy are enjoying looking at the new neighbors back here. Look at this. This is their favorite pastime. They've torn down the sheet I had over the window. And now they're sitting back there watching the new neighbors' dogs. Hey, guys. What are they doing? Share. Oh, we're all just being nosy on the neighbors now. We've not had neighbors on this side before. Yep, look at you. You're being nosy. Right, Scud? You being nosy? Scud, can I have a hug? Can I have a hug? <laughs> hug. Mm. Did I say kiss? Oh. <laughs> hug, kiss. What's this? It's all the same. <laughs> There's my hug. <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you so much. Not much going on, like I said, waiting to win the Mega Ball, for sure. <laughs> and yeah, i got to get back to the kitchen, although my son had me write a list because he wanted 50 more dollars. And he said, I'll do anything you want. And I'm like, clean, organize the kitchen. Sweep, mop, clean out the garage. <laughs> Again. I'm like, i got a whole list for you. He says, well, make the list and I'll do it. Well, he's got the list. It's been a week and he hasn't done it. And like I said, no, the Sun and Like has not paid me $50 installments or $10 installments for the van I gave him. So, uh, typical. Oh, didn't tell the best story. The guy that came and looked at the lawnmower that fixes lawnmowers, he took the, uh, uh, what do you call it, battery out of it. He goes, I'll take this back and I'll charge it for you and bring it back. Well, four weeks later, I keep seeing him at McDonald's when I take the clients there on Thursday. I said, you know what? Would you like for 200 bucks to have the rest of the mower that goes with that, you know, battery that you took? <laughs> and he's like, oh, I'll bring it back. I'll, I'll charge it and bring it back. And I said, you know, it's a $5,000 mower, 200 bucks, parts, you know, if nothing else. And he said he fixed mowers. Then he meets me at McDonald's and he says, I took that battery back out there and put it in and it didn't start. And I'm like, it turned over the spring, but it's been sitting outside. That's what I told him. And he's like... For 200 bucks, he expected, you know, zero turn mower to be running and everything. I was like, yeah, no. If it ran, I would be wanting two grand for it. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, he was kind of hateful to me, and I thought, typical man. Typical for me. All right, guys, like, share, and subscribe to keep up with the insanity. I'm just going to make this a quick one, all in one, just to catch you up on what is going on, which is not a whole lot yet, except I'm still watching a Korean drama. It's a period piece. It's on Netflix called um, uh, Rise of the Phoenix. And I'm going to have to start skipping because I'm just getting too... Is he going to get to marry Princess Pei Pei? <laughs> you know? Too involved. <sighs> I love y'all. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. And thank you for the camera, whoever you are. Blessings. Thank you.